right, listen, Beefy. I may be an intelligent sword, but I've had no formal education. Welcome Shot back, yes. folks, to Let's Play Baldur's Gate 2, the Enhanced Edition, The Shadows of Arm. And when last we left off, after making a deal with a barely remembered god, we have half of the artifact. We're to assemble the artifact and use it just once to deal with the leader of the cult, and then return the completed artifact back to the god so that it can be destroyed. We'll keep our end of the bargain, and hopefully the god will keep theirs. We're going to move forward here carefully because I have a theory about those shadows and shadow fiends that I didn't know if I'd destroyed. Are they here? They are here. They didn't spawn when I fought the Gorths. They spawned now. So let's have some attacks here. Not you, Hexad. You're going to stay there and conserve your arrows. You're going to attack there. You're going to fire a magic missile here because we're going to rest after this fight. We'll just quickly deal with these foes. We should focus our attacks so that we don't have anybody lose strength or get held. Them getting held will definitely make this a slower ordeal, taking care of these enemies. And that's another one nearly taken care of. That one is gone. We'll have you fire a magic missile there. And you can focus on that one. And then this one here. You get 420 experience or 2,000, depending upon if it's a shadow or a shadow fiend that we defeat. What you do is kill things, Lilacor. Kill things quite effectively. Now, we have lost a bit of strength here on Corgan, but resting, it should come back. Not, however, before we fight some mutated well. gibberlings, because of course we need to fight some mutated gibberlings. All right, we'll have you attack, and you might as well move back, and then we'll deal with all of these. Get small amounts of money, small amounts of experience. You might as well actually attack. Why not? You're there. You're not going to be able to get away without uh, moving around all these gibberlings and getting hit a few times, so just swing that staff a few times. You may even get a few hits. They're all gone. We did get a fire shield red scroll. That's not too bad. Let's rest. Second time's the charm? No, second time is not the charm. They're definitely intent on stopping us from resting. Maybe we need to move a little bit further in. Either way, we have some more gibberlings to fight everyone. More paltry amounts of experience and gold. And the people stood there are not going to help us at all. They've no desire to do anything, really. So we'll just finish this off ourselves. There we go. And that one decided to come back, realized there was nothing going on over there, and went, I want to go back and fight these people. That may have been a poor decision. We got another scroll, protection from evil. Might as well grab it, I suppose. And then rest again. Third time's the charm. Yes, third time's the charm. Let's now leave, shall we? There'll be no more enemies on our return journey, at least that's the hope. And then, a trio of Goths, and Edwina is properly killed. Edwina wouldn't last long, not without all the spells protecting her. We'll just head this way, and then over here, and then we'll see about giving those people fighting the cult a helping hand. Get it? Helping hand? hand here? <laughs> Never mind. Let's just wait for our party to get over here, and then go. The Gibberlings can drop some pretty nice stuff sometimes. I wonder if they have a specific drop table with some really rare things that could drop. I think once a group of mutated Gibberlings did drop a magical bow. Not a very good magical bow, but still a magical bow. And that's always a little bit more money that we can spend on other things. Now, we know that's there and we cannot open it, and I think I'm going to save right now, because we don't know what's going to happen next. Well, we know we're going to have to go and, to, uh, go and deal with the cult, but how? That's to be determined. All right, Terry, mm, lead the way and report on our success. I'm Let's go. Whatever you desire. The person's just over here. Is that you? Have you returned successful? Yes, I have half of the rod here with me. Most excellent, my lady. Most wonderful. Let me tell you, then, how the second half of the rod can be acquired. The unseeing eye is in a great pit in the center of the cult compound. You cannot enter the pit by the stairs. The beholder's minions would slay you. 
but you must get into the pit. There is a niche where the beholder stores his treasures, including the rod. There is a safe way to get to that niche. One of our friends is still in the cult. You must approach him and say the phrase, The eye is blind. He will then know who you are and be able to help you. You will find him in the pit of the faithless. Do hurry, my lady. The beholder continues to mesmerize and murder the innocent even as we speak. I shall go immediately and locate this man you speak of. Praise the gods. I wish you well, my lady. Remember, do not speak to Gaul. If he senses that you have half the rod, the plan is doomed. Speak only to Tad. Okay, we must go and find Tad. Yeah. And speak only to Tad. To do that, we're going to have to go all the way back to here. Let's go. There shouldn't be any significant fights, if there are any fights at all. Has this method reappeared? Well, there's a foe. An Otague. What are you doing here? Well, I know what you're going to be doing. You're going to be perishing. Turn round and have at thee. Or not. There we go. You will have at thee. An Otague. Not too much of a problem. And a nice 5,000 experience. Let's keep moving forward, shall we? Any shadows that have appeared? Any other enemies I need to worry about? It would seem not. That's good. Onwards we go. And then another Otague out of nowhere. No, no, no more Otagues. At least I hope not. There are some really nasty versions of Otagues in D&D, and I'm very glad that they're not here. We're going to move a bit further forward, and then we're going to save and try our best to avoid encountering Gaul. There are the, uh, elite guards. I wonder if we can just pass them. Let's find out, shall we? We have the thing, but we're not going to tell you that we have the thing. They don't seem that bothered by us. Let's go in. There's a giant hole here. And there is a cultist. We don't want to talk to the cultist. Kneel and repent. Do you revoke the weakness of the sighted? I do. Then you revoke the false power of sight and embrace the true vision of holy blindness? I revoke it. Then what must done to set things aright? Take my foul sight, master. Let the orbs and their poisonous sight be torn from my body. Let me be made pure. So shall it be done. Be you pure of intent, and you shall live. Cling to the foul sight, and you shall die. Let it be done. Cast off your old beliefs and be saved. <coughs> Kneel and repent. The unseeing eye is always here. He sees that you are not worthy, and the blood at my feet proves it. Take him away. Throw the body down the pit of the faithless. It shall be as you say. And off they go. We need to find the Pit of the Faithless. Where is it? Well, it's not over here, and we're not going over there. Also, swirly magical orb you of what? doom. Long time ago? Let's go yeah, this way. I was like a, a Ignore Lilacor. <laughs> and see who is... Oh. Who is that? That's Gaul. Let us avoid Gaul, eh? We don't want to go over there. Kneel and repent. Yes, Pilgrim. The eye is blind. You. Sasar sent you. Oh, thank the gods. I am relieved he is still alive. I am Tad. What do you need me to do? He said that you would know a secret way to reach the small cave at the back of the Beholder's Lair. Can you help me find it? Want to enter the Beholder's Lair? Well, you must go down the Pit of the Faithless. Below is a secret pathway to the small cave in the lair. I don't know exactly where the passage is. Be wary of the creatures who feed upon the bodies of the Faithless that are thrown down there. Are you sure this small cave in the lair will be safe? It should be safe, my lady. Unless the Unseeing Eye is currently within. He plans a great mass soon, so if you hurry... You should be safe. That's not very reassuring, but thank you anyway, Tad. Good luck, my lady. So we must go 
down into the pit of the faithless and find a secret way towards, well, we can't save, probably because Tad is currently walking away. Let's try and save now. We still cannot save. Is that because Tad is still walking away? Let's try now. Still cannot save, eh? I'm waiting. Let's go down and hope that we can save down yeah. there. Well, this place is grisly, but can we save? No. Why can't we yes. save? Whatever That's want. not encouraging. This also isn't encouraging. A ghast and a mummy. Fortunately, hmm. we can deal with both. So we'll have our heavy hitters move forward. And there is, uh, someone we can loot. Oh, there are loads of enemies here. I would prefer it if, uh, this huge part of people wasn't, uh, wasn't stuck as it is. Mind Can we talk. move anyone away? Can anyone here move? Course. No, it would seem not. Yeah, that's, that's unfortunate. Be quick. And later Maybe I'll if we just off. have them all attack mm. here, that would be nice. There we go! Now they're all moving, Destiny. and we'll move Vaconia. Whoa! That was one foe that is now very yeah. dead. Blood that's good, we glory. need more hits now like that. Die. We need a lot more hits like that. That is one mummy that's gone. Let's get rid of this mummy. And then this mummy here. Actually, let's get rid of the ghast first, because the ghast will fall a lot sooner. Well, the ghast will fall in one hit. And we can do this person and nothing else. So this is the Pit of the Faithless, where the bodies of those who have failed are thrown down to be fed upon by ghasts and mummies for some reason. Yes, it is now, not What's not. here? Just one gold piece. Yeah, nothing to it. There are also going to be traps, aren't there? Well, there's a zombie? A non-hostile zombie? Another dang hole with which to improve my mood. Joy. To be fair, your mood was pretty bad as it was. We're going to save. We can save now. Good. Let's save. And get trap detection going. You are lucky I'm here. I'm very lucky I you're here. Imagine. Are you going to attack me? Hmm. I'm a little concerned very about well. that. No! You're actually not going to attack me. They're going to attack me, though. Tell me Let's just that. move back and wait for them you to come to me. Will be done. Also, there's a little bit of gold. Very nice. Yeah. We'll just fight here. These foes are not that dangerous. There's a ring. There's another ring. We could take them, I guess. And let's have a conversation with this zombie. What is this? What is this? Living ones here? I must tell the mayor. The mayor? Yeah, very well. Is there a town of undead here that I've accidentally stumbled upon? Maybe there is. We should probably go and talk to them. 3,000 experience, not bad. Let's head this way. There was a question mark. There it is. This crude dwelling is perched precariously over the abyss below. So this is a place that people are living. Somehow. Now, if you could all get out of the way, there we go, we could fight this mummy. And that mummy as well. These undead are hostile. There may be non-hostile undead in there. Well, that's the hope, anyway. In actuality, it's probably not going to be likely. I think we should save before we go in. We can't save during combat, that's true. Combat is kind of over, though. Very much over. There we go. Now it's classed as over. Yeah. Let's head in. That's what you want. Hello? Whatever you desire. Well, no friendly welcome here. There is a ghoul lord, a zombie, and a zombie. Well, the yes. ghoul lord is troubling. Let's cast Bless here. Let's have you start shooting the ghoul lord. There's Edwina. What is it now? I think a magic missile here is going to be important. That's a fair amount of damage. Maybe I don't have to be so worried about the Ghoul Lord. I 
I probably still have to be worried about the Ghoul Lord. A little bit of bless goes a long way, and the Ghoul Lord is gone. 3,000 experience for the Ghoul Lord. So is this an entirely side questy sort of area? It probably is. Probably entirely optional. And I'm still very concerned about the fact that there's a man. Anyone else? Yep. Why do you come amongst us? I begs you to leave. The smell, the smell of food makes us wild. Tell us where the passage to the Beholder Lair is, and I'll be out of your hair quickly. You wants to see the Great Feeder? The Great Feeder? If you're referring to the one who throws you down all the dead bodies, then yes, I suppose so. Then the Great Feeder is beyond the bridge. He is. We goes there to serve him and cleanse him. The smell. It is too much. I cannot stand it anymore. <laughs> oh, good. That person is named Theshal. Let's just stay here for now and uh, deal with all of these so undead much. that are slowly shambling towards us. You know what? This might be useful. Turn on dead. Might be very useful right now. You two focus I there. For you now. deal with this zombie. Oh, there are more undead. There's a shadow fiend right there. Start shooting that shadow fiend. Now you're gone. You focus there. You attack this one there. You keep attacking this one. We need to get rid of this one very quickly. You don't seem that difficult, but there are more of them that we've accidentally aggroed. Oh, typical us, eh? You have Go the over there the for now and deal oh, with... Well, there's some armor that we can eventually oh, loot. Right now, we're a little bit busy, though. We have scared away a fair few undead. We'll just uh, attack here. Now, this one is occasionally being... Uh, not just turned, but also commanded, which means that that one is on our side. But that won't last forever, so we'll just deal with that one and then focus on this undead, because this un- Uh-oh, that's kind of bad. That's very bad. We have one magic missile here, that will help. And I want you to- Oh, actually you're on our side now, briefly. Not for much longer, though. So you can attack there, you can attack there, Be quick with and we've pretty much taken care of all the undead that we can see, and we've just uh, noticed where all those undead are. Let's uh, just stay back, shall we? They'll eventually come our way. Now you're going to try and run because of the turn undead. There are lots of things here. That looks like a magical sword. I like how they're all desperately trying to pathfind away from us. That's not going to work, I'm afraid. We have uh, pushed you right to the boundaries of this area. This combat went rather well, and it's all thanks to Turn Undead. Turn Undead's very handy. And look at them glitching out there. You appear to be caught in a glitch. Let me help you. And we helped you. There's only one Shadow Fiend left. And then we're victorious. I don't think there are any traps we need to worry about. We'd have already set them off by now. A sky drop gem. Seems quite useful. The normal helmet, not so useful. Okay. We're pretty much done now. So we'll have you go over there. And now we just need to loot everything. We have some potions. We have this here, which has in it some gauntlets, and gold, and a dire charm. Not bad. Magic sword, bloodstone amulet. You can't carry anymore, but you can though. There we go. And we'll have you go over here, and we'll grab this armor here. There are a few other things too. You've got that. Yes. And these. Hmm. Anything it's else? Ah, there is something else. A ghoul lord. We'll Back deal with honor, that. Don't worry. A few attacks what and you, you should be gone. Do? We don't even need to turn undead. There we go. Anything else? There's a barrel. 
Is it a trapped barrel? Also, I don't know why that is there beneath uh, these three people. It shouldn't be, but it is. More magical things. Marvelous. And a way we can go that way. Yeah, I feel like resting is a good idea. Not necessarily resting here, but I suppose it's relatively safe. You're nauseated. Mind That's fine. Own. Nausea is perfectly acceptable, because we don't need to cure that. We'll rest now. And those circles are still there beneath these three. I don't know why. They're not easy enough. But they are. If you know Hopefully they'll own. go away eventually. And this is when they don't go away. And they stay forever. But when we come back, folks, we have dealt with all the undead in here. And we have a few things that need identifying. Some ammunition, some darts, this leather armor that looks a bit macabre, and a few other random things, including some gauntlets. The gauntlets look quite useful, as we have no magic gauntlets right now. You are going and so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.